Hello and welcome to this Beer Control product presentation. My name is Epi Postma and on this nice farm of family Grolleman here in the Netherlands I'm going to demonstrate to you the VPT software, the Vadia Pulsator testing software. The VPT software enables you to use your Vadia also for pulsator diagnostics both for wet testing and for dry testing. You will learn in this video that this is where the Bluetooth of the Vadia comes in handy. It brings a huge benefit. I will not elaborate now on the importance of stable pulsation and on correct pulsation settings. I'm sure you understand that pulsation is the most tested functionality of the milking equipment because of its moving parts and variables that have an effect on the pulsator functioning and therefore on the milking itself. The Vadia offers two types of pulsator diagnostics, online and offline. With online, I mean that the Vadia dumps via Bluetooth the information of all four channels to the VPT software. This feature is very handy for fast pulsator testing in the dry test, which I will demonstrate later. But this also enables you to analyze the pulsator details during the milking itself. This of course is also very convenient in case of robots. One Vadia can monitor four pulsator channels at the same time. With offline, I mean that all log data in the Vadia can also be analyzed later, when the dry test or the milking is finished. The Vadia then is connected to the PC and the data is transferred through the USB. Let's now take a look at how to set up the Vadia for the pulsator dry test on this farm. For this, I've prepared two special short pulsator tubes that work as a T-piece so that I can quickly connect the Vadia to the cluster. This T-piece is nothing more than a normal short pulsation tube with a Vadia straw inserted and a few centimeters of PVC tube. I'm sure you will think of something yourself from the tubes and needles and other stuff that's in your toolbox. I connect the Vadia to the T-pieces and the hardware setup is done. I have my PC here in the center of the milking parlor on a table and Bluetooth connected to the Vadia. For this I simply look up in the left column of the VPT software which Vadia I want to connect to. And it now automatically connects. It may need a few attempts, typically it is connected in three attempts but first time may take a bit longer. Also when the Bluetooth connection is lost the Vadia will automatically reconnect. With the status connected, I make a new customer. There we are, Grolleman. We go to Analysis and we're in business. If you want, you can test if all works okay by blowing in the tube. With the milking pile in operation, we now remove the short position tube with this very handy tool and then we put the Vadia in between. And we're in business. I now disconnect the Vadia from the cluster and can move on to the next cluster. But because I'm not so experienced, I now hand over the Vadia to Johan, who will do the rest of the units. That's up to you. And ready. All data now can be analyzed with the VPT software. What we see now are the eight pulsators that we have recorded. We can zoom in, we can zoom out. Uh, we use the plus or the minus key or the mouse uh, wheel for that. You can drag it. Um, there's also there's some marker lines. We have a vertical marker line that can make the time difference that you record very accurately the delta between two marker lines. Of course we also have some horizontal marker lines that you can very accurately 
record the delta between the pressures, uh, the vacuum, so it's uh, 38. Of course, we can do everything also in inches of mercury, but here in Europe we think in uh, kilopascals, so we set it back to kilopascals again. But also you can have all the individual points, you can uh, show the point value. So this is all the viewing and panning uh, options and uh, now we want to analyze the data. We now first show the entire scope of all the recordings and we zoom in to uh, Pulsator 1. We press start and here is the analysis of number one, Pulsator number one. We save it for the report and done. Now we go to the uh, scope again, we zoom in to number two. We press start, uh, number two, uh, drag the window, otherwise it doesn't show it. Then we press start and save and done. And we continue like that until we've recorded all the individual pulsators. So this is number eight, start and we enter it. There we go. Save. And all the pulsators have been analyzed. Now on history, we can see for this customer, Grolleman, uh, all the recordings that we've made, and you see here number one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I see I've missed number seven, doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, so each individual pulsator is shown uh, and stored like that. And of course, this is all brought into a report. So here we have the pulsator report. Of course, there's uh, the pulsator numbers, the channels, the rates, uh, beats per minute, the ratios. A, B, C, D phase, of course it will also be listed in milliseconds, not only in percentages. Limping is indicated, also dips are indicated. And the first page of the report is what I call the executive summary. The next pages of the report are all the individual pulsators as they have been analyzed uh, when, uh, when we were doing the individual analysis. It is all stored as a PDF, so you can email it to your customer, but also later you can um, uh, load it on your own uh, computer. And with this nice shot of the young stock of my neighbor's farm here in the Netherlands, I conclude this Vadia video series. In this series you've learned that the Vadia is the latest in testing equipment for dairy professionals and that the same intelligent device can be used for easy and fast pulsator testing as well as for complete milking performance recording. So if you're an advisor, a milking technician or an extension service working for smaller farms of this size or a dealer, veterinarian or even a farm manager on a large commercial dairy, the Vadia will suit your demand. Vadia is easy, fast and complete. Thank you.